What's good, you guys? It's the messenger of God here. And I know it's been a minute since I, you know, took y'all with me on a little mission, you know. But let me tell y'all something. You know, you have to know who you are when you are a child of God. And, and it does depend on your mission that, you know, that you have with the Lord, his will. Because his will is not your will. And when you're like getting ready to do the things that you think that you're going to do, you're not going to, I'm not going to say you're not going to be able to do them, but you're going to think twice about what you're doing. And, you know, and it's something how you can put on, you know, so much like, so much less, you know, clothing or, you know, you try not to overdo it or whatever, you know, it's cool. Like, you know, you do your little stuff at the house or whatever. Or whatever even though you even try not to be doing so much you know it's just like your light still be shining so bright and it's not like a light that you think like how can i explain it i think y'all know what i'm talking about it's not it's not like a light like somebody is shining it's like the glow of the lord you see what i'm saying and for the longest time, I know I have been telling you guys so many things, so many premonitions, so many visions and stuff like that. And you know what? It had been a while, but guess what, you guys? Like, plain as day. I'm talking about plain as day, y'all. Plain as day. I was just outside. Matter of fact, no, I wasn't outside. I was inside, but I was looking outside. And guess what, you guys? Guess what I saw? I saw... I saw a black horse, like plain as day, y'all. You wouldn't even believe it. A black horse, like a black stallion horse. And I, I told you guys, like normally I be seeing like the horses, like with like, um, like I'll tell you if I see a hairless horse or some type of other kind of horse or what it looked like. This time, you guys, I saw a solid black stallion black horse, you know. And then I went to go look it up, and I could not believe it, but it. You know, it speaks of those balances and famine that is to come, you know. And I'm looking at how everything is going on in the world. I don't know whoever's been following me or whoever's been watching my videos, but do you guys remember me telling you guys my visions that I be having or, or um, premonitions, right? Well, looks like everything that I have been telling you guys about if you have not like been following me yo i'm telling you right now i told you guys the things that were going on everybody may not have the same mission but god said that everything in the dark will be will be in a light you know will come to light no stone unturned right tell me why when i was telling you guys how the things be going on you know with the um through the Wi-Fi, through the internet, through electricity and, and all kinds of stuff like that, how they can tell, you know, your your breathing patterns, you know, your the uh, uh uh you know how they can shine things in your house and in your bodies and stuff like that and watch your eyes and then your and and all kinds of stuff like that. You know, they, they can tell all these things and I said if you do not have the Lord, I told you you will be controlled. You, you see what I'm saying? And I told you all of these things have been going on, you know, for quite a while, you know, especially around me. And, you know, I've been I've been telling you guys these type of things for a reason. You know, I'm not sure if it just happens to the ones that are chosen, the ones that are believers of God, um, the ones who who decided not to follow the 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 thing that everybody else has been doing you know that maybe like most of the world went and did you know i don't i'm not sure like like if you are a person who who's not uh let me tell you if you're a person who's not a follower like a person who's just like quick to jump up and do something when 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 everybody else do something i told you guys all of these things that have that has happened okay all of these things that was put out there for you to follow or to jump up or be scared to do you know what i mean it's all 
to see. It's it's just like it's just like you being a, a, a guinea pig, okay? It's just like it's just like you being a guinea pig to whatever kind of agenda that's being put out there for you to follow and do to see how the the human mind can be controlled and how people can be controlled you know i haven't went to no libraries i ain't went to go study none of this you know what i'm saying i ain't went and tried to look none of these things up even though i know that they be following me around and stuff like that just to see what i do and where i get it from and my information from and stuff like that i said all you need is jesus you see what i'm saying because i was trying to tell you guys why you guys are sitting up here judging other people what you should be focusing on is just trying to get people to word because you have to let the word correct people you cannot correct people yourself you see what i'm saying you cannot sit up here and and try to make someone change i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys out there but changing doesn't happen overnight okay changing doesn't happen overnight so therefore it's it's just like this the longer you wait though to change it, it, in this time and age it's like the fourth quarter y'all the longer that you take to get god in this time and age you might not make it and the reason why i'm gonna say you might not make it is because how long it takes for you it takes an eternity it's going to take your whole entire life up until he comes so you can't just like say well i'm gonna pray you know i'm gonna pray today and, and I should be okay. You know, I already repented. You know, I already done, you know, repented for my sins. I already done, done gave it to God. And, and, and I said, you know what? Everything is going to be cool. You know, I ain't got to do nothing else. Or, no, man, you got to constantly pray. Because you have to die to this flesh daily because your flesh is a temptation. You see what I'm saying? Your flesh will make you do everything wrong every single day. And that does not mean that we're going to be perfect. But you got to recognize, though, you know, what it is that you're doing you see what i'm saying and because we can't control that that's why you have to have god in your life and you have to pray each day in order for for you to make that change you know you have to say you know lord forgive me that's what prayer is for prayer is for the sins that you committed in that day that you might not even recognize that you've committed you see what i'm saying so therefore since you don't know everything in the flesh you need the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you and to to help you, you know what I'm saying? Make it through that day because of everything that you're going to come up against. Because of everything that you're going to come up against and everything that you're going to come up against, you see what I'm saying? You can't do that alone. So that's why you have to pray. That's why we have to pray. I remember that song, I think it's MC Hammond. He said, we got to pray just to make it today, okay? I said, we pray. Even though, you know, people may put things in the song, man, I I'm telling you, you, you got to listen to these lyrics sometimes, you know, of a song. Because sometimes I may not put it, everything, you know, uh, in the word, but I may try to express myself to you guys like... Uh, I may try to express myself to you guys in a song. Like, I may try to write, like, when I write a song, I may try to tell y'all everything that's going on or everything that's happening. You know, a lot of things be, like, sounding like maybe like a parable to you guys. Just like the last song that I wrote. You see what I'm saying? And, and I'll say some stuff in a song, but it's not on the surface of what you hear. Because a lot of times... You know, people are, are hear what I beat on said or beat on uh, wrote and said, and then you might think that, you know, you might think that I'm saying one thing, but yet I'm not even saying that. I'm saying something different. You know what I mean? You might be like, oh my goodness, she she said this and this and that, but you don't even know, you know what I mean unless a person explain it. But let me tell you like this: you got to understand where where we where we've came from in our lives. You got to understand who we are as the body of Christ. You got to understand that we all make up that body of Christ. And and it's just like this. We we need each other. You see what I'm saying? To build that body. You might not can do what this person can do. You might not can do what that person can do. It's because somebody is, is that head 
of that body. Somebody is that person that may have all that godly wisdom that is going to build, you know, that's going to be at the, the top of this, of that food chain. You see what I'm saying? To be able to, to have that godly wisdom to pass down to, to other people. You know what I'm saying? So you might not be, you might not even get up there. You might not be right there, but somebody got to be the hand. Somebody got to be the foot. Somebody got to be the heart. Somebody, we all build that, that, that body of Christ. That's why all of us is important and for us to stick together in spirit and in truth in order to build our body and to go against the enemy. You see what I'm saying? How can you go against the enemy if you don't, you know, if you don't believe? That's why I said the thing that you guys are against is the things that you guys are, are up against is not actually a person. You see what I'm saying? You always trying to look and trying to figure out who the person is behind the person, behind the, the curtain, who's pulling the strings. But you guys don't know. It all boils back down to the devil. Okay? Him and his little imps. He's the one that's pulling all the strings, okay? I told you, it's good and it's evil. It's either one or the other, okay? You can't be in the middle. You can't play the fence. You can't be lukewarm, okay? You have to either go one way or the other, okay? You cannot serve two masters. You just cannot do that. You see what I'm saying? You have to serve either Jesus or the devil. And if you're not serving Jesus, then you are serving the devil. You see what I'm saying? And then when I try to tell y'all something, I don't try to tell people something in, in a way to hurt your feelings, but I have to tell you in a way to let you know the truth because the truth will set you free, okay? You got to understand that, oh my goodness, man. When there's a lot of things going on, look, and people don't believe you, that doesn't mean you have to stop speaking the truth because if, if, you, are, if you are of the Lord, okay, God will reveal these things in the end. So it's up to you to keep on doing what it is that God has given you to say or to do. Because it's, look, it's not for you to make a person believe. It's whatever God's will is. So whatever he tells you to do is what you have to do. No matter who looks at it in a crazy way, who looks at you and say, you know what? I wouldn't do that if I was her. I wouldn't say that. It does not matter. See, I'm not other people. I don't care what nobody say about me because I know, look, the situation is bigger than you. And I've said this so many times. I, I even said this. I said, I even talk to the people that are evil, that think that they're evil doing the things that they're doing. And it's something that's bigger than them. So therefore, you do not sit up here and pick who you get to talk to, who you get to preach to, because we're all sinners. God did not get in that boat. And when he got up there and preached to people and said, I'm going to pick out only these people to talk to. I'm going to pick out only those person, uh, only those uh, people over there to reach. He spoke out loud for everyone to hear. Because we are all sinners, y'all. We have to speak the truth no matter what. How are you just going to say, well, I'm going to talk in secret. And I'm just want to like reach these people over here because, you know, these people is bad and they've been doing wrong. So I don't want to talk to them. No, you guys, we are she sheep amongst wolves, you know. That, that is who we are. He said, God said, my sheep knows my voice. Okay. So you have to understand this. All of these things that, man, I'm, I, if I can get some clips together, I'm going to try to get some clips together because I just heard this come out. And I have been seeing, and I have been, no, I have been seeing this in the spirit. Okay. I've been seeing all of these things in the spirit. All these things I've been seeing in the sky, in the air. And I kept telling y'all, you guys, oh, there goes a dragonfly. I'm, I'm all, when I'm out, you guys, I always see like animals or insects or, 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 or some type of like beetles or hummingbirds. Or I'm, I'm always seeing like hawks and, and cranes and, and like different things. Sometimes it'd be like strange things that I can't even believe that I'd be seeing when I'd be out there. But you guys got to know this, you know, when I was listening to the word the other day, I think the other day or so. Yeah. And you know, it's just like this. The animals do know you guys, the animals know the things that are that are happening they they will show you like by the way that they be acting y'all what 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 is coming our way you you they'll show you like strange attitudes you know they'll start barking or 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 they would um stare or or you see them just like stand and and you know and it's just like oh my goodness you guys I'm telling you you know when I heard this word I told you it made me think of like uh 
you know, in the beginning of Noah with, with, the, with the animals, how God, when he wiped off the earth, he had Noah to bring in the animals two by two to start over the whole world with just him and his family. You know, and ain't that something how he started over the whole world, you know, with Noah and his family? So it, 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 it only shows you how important that family is, you know? Family is really important, and so are these animals. But you guys are seeing them die out. You guys are seeing these animals not just die out, but you're seeing them wash the shore, right? Isn't that something, y'all? Y'all, I have seen so many different things in my life, and I cannot believe it. So anyways... I just wanted to tell you guys about the vision that I saw. I saw I saw a black horse, you know, and oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys remember the, um, okay, it was a video that I did, um, those who've been following me, and I was talking about the, the mark, okay, and I was just like this. I know sometimes, man, I, I be seeing things like as far as like in the Holy Spirit, and sometimes I'd be like, you know, how could I see it in this way? But I'm still going to tell you guys, no matter, you know, how you may feel about it or how you may look at it. Because, you know what, I saw the mark again. And I know everybody is looking for the mark of the beast. You know, the, the chip in the hand and, and the, the chip in the forehead and uh, or, or, the, or the mark on the hand and the mark on your forehead, right? And, and But look at this. Look at this, y'all. I'm going to say it one more time everybody that is doing stuff right now is only trying to mo uh, mock the creator they're trying to copy they're trying to copy whatever it is that was already written in the bible to make you think and seem like this is this is what the mark is going to be this is what it is just to, it's like a scare tactic y'all y'all gotta realize this that's why you look God said, put your trust in no man. And he said, fear nobody but me because of the power that he has, because he has all power and what he can do. But you're steady sitting up there following everything that everybody do. And sometimes the answer could be right in front of you. Okay. Why are you looking for, oh, this could be the, the chip of the mind. It could be the, the, you know, somebody came up with this and, and somebody came up with that. But all of these things, all of these things and ideas came from the Bible. Okay, y'all. But let me tell you this too. When I thought of these things, I thought of the mark spiritually, y'all. I don't know why I thought like this, but yes, I do. Let me tell y'all. I was just like this. When I thought of the, the mark being in your, your, your head or on your hand, right? I thought of that hand, the marketing in the hand. I thought of it spiritually, like as far as it being an agreement. Who you coming into an agreement with? And, and that and that head is like who you being controlled by. And a lot of people right now is being controlled by the internet, by the Wi-Fi, okay? You know, this, this Wi-Fi, this internet I've been telling you guys about, I've been telling you guys, if you do not have Jesus, you're gonna be controlled, okay? Cause this Wi-Fi, it, it reaches all over the world. Do you see how it shut out and everybody had a fit? Because that's where everybody's life is on. So everybody be tripping out on the internet. I told you, this is how they reach you. This is how they control your minds. So that mark on the head makes me think of the control of your mind and the deception that everybody is going to get if you don't have Jesus. While you're looking for horses, you know, them horses is a symbolization of what it is to come, not the actual horse. So when you be looking for, oh, okay, I'm, I'm okay. When I see the red horse come, when I see the white horse, it's not gonna be an actual horse. Those are, it's, it's like a, a symbol and, and a parable. God speaks in parables to those who, who, hmm. y'all. I'm trying to explain it the best way I can because I saw so much in, in, in a little time and I've seen so many of these things. But let me tell y'all, look, y'all, it's all coming, it's all coming unfolded, okay. So those who believe in God, just keep on believing, keep on praying, okay? Just keep on believing, keep on praying, because everything is coming on fold. You guys, I saw, I saw it come out on the Forbes, okay? Forbes breaking news, okay? And and some of these other news that was speaking of this when it first came out, okay? If I can uh, show a little clip of it, I will. Um, but let me tell y'all, 
it talks about everything that I told y'all about. You know what I'm saying? Some of these things are starting over in foreign countries. Like they show these over here in China, how they had it to where they was going by uh, shaming people for their, their, their credit scores. Not only that they can see your, 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 um, uh, they can see everything you do. They can follow you wherever they go. They can, they can, I told y'all, they can read your mind. They try to read your mind. They try to read your thoughts. They try to go by everything that you, you look at. You know what I'm saying? Even the people that you guys, that you guys may put your trust in, even though God said, don't put your trust in no man. That's why I told you, you can't call people. Um, they're tapping into your, your banking accounts. They're tapping into your, 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 your phones, your emails, all of these things that you put your trust in more than you do God. But let me tell you something. If you are a believer, then you should not, if you are a believer and if you're not guilty, you should not be afraid of, 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 of none of these things. Because if you're not doing wrong, then why should you worry? You know what I'm saying? I can have so many cameras over my house, right? I can have so many uh, listening devices sitting around me, but I, I never care. I don't care because I believe. And I know I'm not going to do wrong. I know I'm not going to say nothing wrong or go anywhere and do nothing wrong. You see what I'm saying? But those who do not understand, these things are to come. It's, it always seems to start. Look, it's like monkey see, monkey do. If you've seen the things that happened from, from the pandemic, okay? Then you see it come over here. Then you see these, these, it's like people are copying each other, okay? So therefore, that's why I say when, when people make things that are smart and intelligent and AI and all this stuff like that, who do you think uh, can get into these things just like you can get into these things and hack into these things and, 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 and know all the things and do all the things that you can do? We're so smart, but yet we let other people know what it is that we know how to do. All these frequencies, all these waves, all these things is, 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 is flowing through the air. All these things is, is in the air and some of y'all can't even see it. Some of y'all don't even know that it's going on. Some of these things are be frequencies and be going in, into y'all ears and y'all don't even know it. Y'all don't even know it. It's just like if you just like a dog whistle, you can blow it, but only a dog can hear it. Okay, I, I, all these things be going on. Y'all don't even know it. All these frequencies that be going on. Half of the time, y'all be looking in your, your phones, your camera. These things can follow your eyes. These things can read your minds. These things can control you if you do not have the Lord. A lot of things that's been used, you guys been being used as guinea pigs. These things are coming out on the news just to let you guys know. I told you guys we're in the matrix. All these people that be around you half of the time, if they're not of the Lord, they're being controlled. So therefore, it's just like you've been in a real life scene, movie scene, the real life matrix. Okay. A lot of these people are undercover. A lot of these people, they, they know what you do, where you go, what you eat, how you sleep, everything about you, okay? But you have to have God. You need the Lord. All I'm going to tell you is you have to have God because all of this stuff have to fall into play for the tribulation. All of these things have to happen before the wrath of God because all of these things going to have to come into play because his word will not come to him void. So all of these things have to play out. So all the things that the people of evil that think that they're doing stuff wrong, no, God already knows, but he has to allow it to play. He has to allow it. He don't have to, but he's going to allow it for the end to be the end. Do you understand that? For, the, for, for his word to come true, he's going to allow these things to happen. And then here comes the rapture. You see what I'm saying? I don't know which one is going to be first, but I hope I'm caught up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you to be ready. Repent from your sins, turn from your wicked ways, okay? <laughs> How else will God be able to heal your land? How else do you want your prayers to reach if you if you ain't prayed up, if you don't repent from your sins? How can you sit up here and, and cry out for God to heal a whole country if you ain't sit up here and repenting from your sin, if you ain't walking right with God, if you ain't turned from your wicked ways, and then you expect things to happen for you? You want things to turn around, but how can things turn around for you if you ain't doing right? Oh, my goodness. Lord, I'm going to pray for y'all right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, our Father who art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors, but lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from sin and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Lord, I'm asking you right now to heal these people out here. Heal their minds, bodies, and souls so they will not be controlled 
by the enemy, by the beast, Lord Jesus, that is going to be, man, it, it, it's going to be so tough for these people to try to turn around so late in their lives when they need to do it right now, no matter who, what age that they are. Lord, I pray for their healings, Lord Jesus. I pray that you turn their hearts around, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord Jesus, that people will lose this hate that they have in their heart because I know that's why he wiped the world away before because there was no love. There's no compassion. People are out here, look, in their relationships with people, they don't care no more. People are cheating, sleeping in different rooms, in different beds, doing all kinds of different stuff. They're not even wanting to be together after they took vows. People don't even want to help one another even when they're down, even when I remember when you used to could go to a neighbor's house and knock on the door and ask for stuff. I remember how neighbors we used to can go to each other's house and eat food. You see what I'm saying? But now you can't even do that. You knock on the wrong door and, and, and a person just may shoot you. You see what I'm saying? It, it's just y'all. Look look at how many people is flooding the flooding the flooding the land. Flooding the land. Okay? Do you see these things that are going on? Everything is pushing towards the what the word says. Okay, everything is setting up for these things to take place. Okay, some of y'all be looking for these things to happen physically, but they're going to happen spiritually. I I'm telling you, that's why you got to separate the spiritual from the physical. Okay, and when I thought about the mark of the, uh, 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 the uh, when Jesus said that my children will have the, the mark of, of him. Only say, I thought about the anointing. We'll have the anointing upon us, the anointing upon, uh, upon our heads, and we'll be controlled by him. Because we'll be doing his will. He'll look out there and say, there goes my children right there with the oil in their lamps. Okay, with the oil in their lamps, y'all. We're going to be the one with the anointing, uh, the, the anointing upon us. Okay, with that glow, with that oil in our lamps. Okay, we're going to be marked because we sit up here and we, we uh, repented from our sins. And, and we turned away from our wicked ways and we're following the will of God. But how else can you do that if you're still sitting up here doing wrong? You want somebody to feel sorry for you, but you don't even care about what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? Everything else is more important to you in your life than God. You see what I'm saying? If you ain't even going to church, then why you ain't praying? Okay? If you don't go to church, then why you ain't why didn't you why didn't you go get baptized? Why didn't you go get why didn't you go repent from your sin? How you expect to know God and you don't know God? Okay? How you sit up there and you want God to do the work when he wants you to do the work. He wants you to seek. He wants you to read the word. He wants you to pray. He's God. Okay? God is going to do whatever it is that he's going to do. Man, I'm telling you, y'all. I'm telling you. Y'all go look that up, man. Go look that. Go look that. Go look that up and see right now what, what I'm talking about. Okay? This breaking news of, of what they've been talking about. About how they, um, how they are all in your business. How how they are, are how they are controlling you, how they are doing things to y'all and y'all just don't know. How these things are, are coming. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, y'all don't even know half of the time y'all look up in the sky and don't realize what's going on. Okay? You don't even realize what's going on. Who's flying? Who's driving? Who's around you? Who's your friends? Who's your foes? You don't even know. Everybody is mixed in to, to the point to where you're not gonna know. Even that person, look, that can, oh, guys, don't you understand how Lucifer was? Lucifer, when he was in a, in heaven, y'all, this is in the Bible. He was beautiful. I told y'all he was spiffy. He was, he was the most, one of the most beautiful angels that God created. He's showing you how he made a beautiful, uh, God, he, he made this, he made this, he made this devil, okay? Made Lucifer. He was beautiful, okay? He had to be very manipulative, okay? And, and very jealous and envious because look, people didn't, people wanted to follow him. He took a third of the angels with him. You see what I'm saying? He's sly and slick. He's not finna sit up here and look and make an agreement with you and shake hands with you and trying to scare you. No, he wants to get you in there first. He wants you to take that agreement first, that oath with him first. So then he can't control you because he got you. He got you to he got you to fall for it. He got you to fall for him. He knew what it was going to take to get you. He sent people for you. He sent little recruiters, his little imps. He sent people out there to make you believe that he was going to make something so beautiful for you that it ain't even beautiful. Okay? That that person that you thought that you was you, so in love with, look how beautiful they are. 
But who are they? Are they walking with God? Lucifer was beautiful. I I'm trying to tell y'all the things that y'all think is beautiful, it is not. Y'all think all the, look how people is trying to make you change your little bodies because you think that's the way you're supposed to go, how you're supposed to look, and look at you now. How long I've been telling y'all to stop putting stuff in your little bodies when I first started my journey, okay? Before I was even this deep. Y'all putting all this stuff in your bodies and people are dying from that mess. Putting stuff in your butts, putting stuff in your titties, putting stuff wherever it is. It, no. You need to just be normal. I don't care. We can put on like hair and wigs and stuff, but can you take it off at the end of the day or is it permanent? Is that a permanent mark, scar that you got? You see what I'm saying? Y'all got to stop all of this, man. Y'all got y'all got to listen right now, man. Y'all better listen to what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm telling you, y'all. Whatever it is that I tell you, I tell you the truth because I love you. I love everybody out there. I don't care what nobody says. You can't love. I love everybody. Because boy, oh boy, it's a shame. I know the Lord won't want everybody to go to hell, but there's some people that's going. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be people that's going to go to hell. Okay? Even after God do all of this, and even after his wrath, okay? Even after he put all of these things on the earth, even after he wiped off, even after the two witnesses, even after all these things supposed to go on, it's going to be people that still don't turn around, still don't believe. And you know what? They still going to be lost. So some people you just not you they're not gonna be you're not gonna be able to reach. It's the same thing that you're trying to do. Look, when you sit up there and judge somebody and say, and you point and look at him, look at her, look at look at this pastor, look at this bishop, look at this girl, look at this boy, look at this man, look at this woman. Who cares about what they doing? Okay, worry about you. You sitting up here worried about what somebody else is doing and you judging them, but all you needed to do was just give them the word. Are you praying for them? In that same breath, in that same breath, you can run your mouth. Don't you know you sinning when you judge? I don't care who you are. I don't care. I don't care who you are. It, it's almost like this. It almost make whatever you do in vain. Because how you going to sit up there and praise God with the same breath you judging somebody in and we're supposed to be sitting up here saving the sinners. You once was in the world yourself. You had to come out of the world to be able to see the world for what it is to be able to help those that are still trapped in the matrix, who are still trapped in the world. You had to be set apart in order to help. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And I just hear the word of God circling around in the same conversation, the same conversation in different ways from left to right, north, south, east, west. And I'm telling y'all, he's got to be so near because he said when his word go from one end to the next and everybody don't hear the word in every language, okay? From from young to, to old, okay? And, and everybody's getting it now. So you, there's no way that nobody here can say that they don't know Jesus, okay? Mm, you guys, I'm, I'm telling you this because it's urgent. I'm telling you this because I see it coming. I'm telling you this. I'm, I'm telling, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know when the Lord is going to come back for us. But I'm telling you, these things are finna come here. The same things like they be having in, in these other countries, okay? About this buying and selling and about this famine, about all of this stuff. Because you know what? It's all to draw a panic, a panic to the people in, in the world, Okay? to force you to do things that you shouldn't do okay i just need y'all to know this you know what i'm saying yes these things are very uncomfortable to hear and to know about but you know what you're gonna have to have jesus christ and you cannot bow and i love y'all and y'all take care of yourself if nobody told you that you are beautiful today remember that you are just the way that you are just the way that you are you know, whether you missing hair, whether you missing teeth, I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. If they don't love you for you and they don't love you for who you are, because see me, I don't care about none of that mess. I say, you know what? Hmm. They're going to have to be God sent. Do you understand what I'm saying? God sent. Because right now I'm feeling like Job in the fourth quarter. Okay. So many things are gone to, to the point with me, to the point I just be like this, Lord, I'm ready for you. And when you have lost everything, 
everything. When you have lost everything, y'all, I'm telling you. Man, you, you might be sitting up there and looking for the double fold or the ten fold that Job had. But let me tell you something. It's not for you to look for. You see what I'm saying? It's for you to plant that seed. It's just like this. How far did you... It's like this. How far did God have to allow things to go for you to realize who you were? For you to realize what he wanted you to do. For you to realize on what you're supposed to do. For you to realize who you are. To, for you to see how strong you are and why he needs you. Do you understand that why he needs you? Because nobody can... Nobody probably can take the things that you can take, can say the things that you can say, can live through the things that you done lived through. You know what I told y'all when I told y'all my story from a while back, when I said, man, it felt like I was hooked up to a bunch of cords. And I, man, I feel like that day when I told y'all that, the awakening upstairs in that video, when I told y'all that, man, when I felt like, man, I promise you that, I promise you everything I told y'all has been true from front to back. I learned, I left everything on my, on my uh, social media so y'all can see where I came from to where I'm at now. I didn't erase nothing because I don't want nobody to say, hey, look, she was like this. I, no, no, no. Check me out. Check me out because I could have went that hard or I could have went this way. You see what I'm saying? But I'm glad that I came from that hard to being where I'm at now. You see what I'm saying? Because you know what? I got that same energy that I still have before the Lord and even stronger. You see what I'm saying? I felt like I done already done came back. You see what I'm saying? Because that body that I was that I was dealing in, bro, I'm telling you right now, it's like this dead flesh did not have no life in it until I had the breath of God to come through me. You see what I'm saying? I love Jesus and I'm going to keep on and I'm going to keep on serving him. And I love y'all. All you have to do is be a servant, y'all. I love y'all so much out there. It's just so many things I want to say. But y'all go look up them videos, you hear me? If I don't get a chance to post anything for y'all, those videos for y'all, for you to see it, check it out, all right? Y'all go and check that out, okay? Go look up them videos where they talk about that. I think they, I think the last one was on the um, Forbes breaking news um, um, because some of the times when I see these things, I be like, oh my goodness, I said all of this stuff. Like I was talking about all this stuff and trying to explain to people like this, but then nobody believed me. Like all this stuff that was going on around me and, and all this stuff that would be going on to people and they don't know it. It's just that y'all didn't know it. But now everything is coming out open. So y'all go check that out. All right. I love y'all just the way that you are. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful just the way that you are. I had to take it back to my old school. You know what I'm saying? That's how I felt today. I had to take it back. You feel me from the beginning? I love y'all so much out there. Bless your hearts. Bless y'all out there. I love you so much. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about people. Don't worry about what they say about you. You just keep your way in the Lord. You know, people make mockeries and they be joking, you know, about people that be having like, they be motivational speaking or or, or trying to, you know, talk to you and, and to like, you know, being motivated or staying motivated or, or, but let me tell you something like that. If that's how your life started off and this is where you at now, you was probably meant to be a speaker. You don't even know who you're going to be, but just to think of the things that you used to do, you can reach people. A lot of people can't talk to people. A lot of people can't speak. A lot of people don't know how to speak and know how to reach people, but look at you now, look at you now, the things that you are doing now, I'm telling you, you don't see your future. You don't see your presence. You don't understand who you are and who you're supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? But everything is supposed to make you stronger, okay? Everything is to, to make you stronger. It ain't to hurt you, okay? If you're still here and you ain't dead yet, man, I'm trying to tell you right now, you better you better choose Jesus Christ. I'm telling you that right now. Huh. I love y'all. Y'all take care. And don't worry about no revenge because God got vengeance. He see everything that's happening. You feel me? And he's coming for everybody. All right? Later of government and corporation Here go, in restricting the individual freedom and autonomy upon which the productive, generous, and stable psyche, psyche economy like and state are okay. themselves necessarily founded. I'll begin my comments, therefore, in the most general terms to shed light on the mounting problem. Just listen to it. There are now 700 million CCTVs in China under the rule of the Communist Party. The system to which those electronic eyes are attached is the most complete state apparatus of surveillance yet imagined, with the ability not only to recognize faces at a distance, but gate itself 
when facial features are hidden or obscured. Such capability can and will soon be augmented to the point where the movement of eyes themselves, monitored by high resolution and intelligent cameras, will soon be sufficient to identify any aware and active party. The demented, naive and prideful engineers who so enthusiastically helped build this system call it Skynet. After the rogue and all-seeing technology that took such a dreadfully wrong term, turn in the famous science fiction movie Terminator series, featuring artificially intelligent robot intelligences hell-bent on protecting themselves by destroying humanity. The name also references a well-known Chinese phrase describing the reach of the divine itself. The net of heaven is vast, yet it misses nothing, which aptly describes the capabilities of the new state apparatus. The system is integrated with the so-called Chinese social credit system, which awards its involuntary participants with a score indicating their compliance with the dictates of the Chinese Communist Party, allowing for full control over access to everything they possess electronically, most ominously their savings and their access to travel, certainly all modern means of travel, but increasingly as the electronic gates come up, even by walking. If you're a Chinese or a visitor, your access to the world can be reduced to zero if your social credit score falls beyond an arbitrary minimum. This allows you purposefully to be shut out of all activities that can be virtualized. And in a rapidly virtualizing world, this increasingly means all activities, driving, shopping, working, eating, finding shelter, even fraternizing with friends and family, as merely being in the presence of someone with a low social credit score means that your own score can be lowered. This has also opened up the opportunity for the government to extract slave-like labor from its citizens so burdened as the donation of free work to the state still constitute one means by which erring Chinese men and women can increase their score and remain part of human society. This is precisely the payment system most desired by the most tyrannical, not the work for me and benefit thereby that constitutes the contractual arrangement undertaken by free and sovereign citizens, but the work for me and I will lift the deprivation I imposed It has always been the late motif of the slaver. Why is any of this relevant to people in the West? Well, because the technology that the Chinese Communist Party employs is an extension of Western technology. Because we already fell prey to the terrible temptation of lockdown employed by that state in the face of hypothetical crisis once and in the very recent past, because we're walking step by step in the same direction partly because of the hypothetical convenience of universal and automatic recognition of identity, and partly because any problem whatsoever that now confronts us can easily be used to justify the increasing reach of the security and nanny state. It is said that Stone Age people first confronted with cameras and their resultant photographs by modern anthropologists objected to having their images captured as they feared the captivity of their souls. It turns out that such fear was prescient. The images that we leave behind while navigating virtual space are such close duplicates of our actual selves that the capture of our essence is at this point all but guaranteed. We all now have our doppelgangers. We all live so much in the virtual world in consequence of our purchasing habits and modes of electronically mediated communication that our very selves have become reducible to a frightening degree to data the modern equivalent of our footprint, with the same data making up an image of our identity, an identity which can be and is increasingly bought and sold by the invisible corporate brokers that still mostly use it to sell us what we so desperately and carelessly and conveniently want, but can also be used to track, monitor, and punish everything we do and say. Behavioral scientists facilitate this process with their reprehensible nudging 
the practice of pushing people in a given ideologically determined direction by manipulating invisible incentives behind the scene. Corporations track purchasing decisions, developing algorithms that with increasing accuracy track our patterns of attention and action, allowing for the prediction of what might next be most enticing, doing so not only to offer us what we want, but to determine and shape what we need. Governments can and are colluding with these corporate agents to develop a picture not only of our actions, but of our thoughts and words, so that deviation from the desired end can be mapped, rewarded, and punished. The development of a digital identity and currency is nothing more than the likely end consequence of such inclinations, and the combination of both can and will facilitate the development of a surveillance state the scope of which optimistic pessimists of totalitarianism such as George Orwell could scarcely imagine. The new AI systems, which are so rapidly emerging, do nothing but increase this danger, providing for the possibility of a super surveillance whose scope exceeds anything that mere unaugmented humans could imagine, while also making it certain that even the perceptions that in the real world shape our attitudes, conduct, and personality can, manip can be manipulated to the degree that we will not even be able to see a reality outside which that has been constructed by the super state. The ultimate fascist collusion between gigantic self-interested corporations and paranoid security obsessed anti-human governments. We're already selling our souls to the super state for the purposes of immediate gratification while being enticed to do so by Mr. fear- Mr. Chairman, could the witness be asked to summarize please? And while do I have my five minutes or do I not? Yeah. You've gone over five Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Can I can, I can certainly. The, if the witness can summarize, I'm, we're, we're always a little lenient with the I'll, time. If you I'll, can summarize. I'll take 10 more seconds. Sir. Yeah, go on, give me a with increasing time, ability to monitor not only the actual attention patterns and behaviors of its citizens, but to predict those that are most likely, the persecution of even potential crime becomes ever more likely. If you have nothing to hide, you will have nothing to fear will be the slogan commandeered by those most likely to turn That's to surveillance right. to protect and control. What was the famous Soviet totalitarian joke attributed to Lavrenti Beria, head of the secret police? Show me the man and I'll show you the crime. Those words were true enough in the time of Stalin's KGB and the police were secret enough then as well. But that's nothing compared to what we can and likely will produce now. A police so secret that we will not even be able to detect their comprehensive and subtle activity. Monitoring crime so pervasive that everyone under the dictates of the system will have something to hide. Order, that was something, y'all, huh? I told yeah. you.